It's Lauren from the Tanglewood Wellness Center, and I've been asked today, what happens when we eat cooked food? Is it true that eating cooked food uh, typically means the body temperature is higher? And it does. And let me start by pointing out something that many people don't realize. When we talk about normal body temperature, normal body temperature is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit or 37 degrees Celsius, normal means not healthy, but only average. A norm is an average. So normal body temperature is in fact 98.6. But is that a healthy body temperature? Well, not necessarily. Remember that every time you put cooked food in your mouth, your body says this is a problem and responds with an immune response. There's an immune system response every single time. And this was shown in an experiment about 80 years ago when uh, the same group of people were fed at two different times, both cooked and raw food, and what, what happened was digestive leukocytosis, which has been considered normal by scientists and doctors up until now, uh, still is actually, I suppose, considered normal. Digestive leukocytosis, which means the body created white blood cells and sent them to the digestive tract but only in the presence of cooked food. When the food was all raw, there was no digestive leukocytosis. So what this research showed was in fact that every time we cook food, your body says, oh, there's a problem here. Because normally, what does your body do? Every time there's an injury of any kind, it creates and marshals leukocytes, white blood cells, sends them to the site of injury. And the laws of nature have no exceptions, so scientists would agree leukocytosis only happens in the event of an injury, except for digestive leukocytosis. That's an exception. happens for no reason whatsoever. I, I hope that doesn't make any sense to anyone here with me, and I hope it doesn't make any sense to you, because it doesn't make any sense. Why would this incredibly intelligent organism create white blood cells, send them to the digestive tract, for no reason whatsoever. Well, it doesn't. It's doing this because cooking food ch chemically alters the substances we consume and actually is creating toxins. And about you know, 11 or 12 years ago now, I think, scientists in Stockholm, Sweden, showed that when we cook carbohydrates, which are in almost everything, we're creating a carcinogenic compound called acrylamide. Now, acrylamide was the only thing. In fact, these scientists started out not looking to find acrylamide in cooked food, but trying to figure out why it was that people in Sweden who were working with this chemical did not have a higher incidence of disease, of cancer, than people who weren't working with it. Because that's what they found. They started out trying to figure out what was the increased risk of cancer for people working with the chemical. What they found? None. It didn't make any sense to them. Well, it turns out the reason that people working with this chemical do not have an increased risk of cancer is simply that everybody in Sweden is eating this chemical multiple times a day, as is everybody virtually everywhere on the planet. Because if you're eating cooked food, especially breads, pastas, grains, cereals of any kind, complex carbohydrates, because they're loaded with carbohydrates, right? That's all it is. If you're eating lots of carbohydrate, cooked carbohydrate, you are consuming, according to the U.S. government, up to 100 times what is a safe level of a known carcinogen, acrylamide. But let me ask you guys a question, those of you that are here with me. How much of a known carcinogenic compound do you think is safe to have in your body? Can we agree? I see a zero over there. Can we agree it's zero? There's yeah. no safe amount, right? Right. The government has to pretend there's some safe amount, but there really isn't. So understand, the government says you're consuming up to 100 times what's a safe quantity. There is no safe quantity. Okay. Might this be the reason that cancer has been growing so rapidly? Well, it certainly is going to play a major role in this. So understand that, yes, every time you eat cooked food, your intelligent body says oh, this is toxic, and it responds as if it's been poisoned, but only because it has. I hope that makes sense.
Thanks.